Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to the channel. Now, a lot of coaches have been asking me recently, this is a pretty common question uh, that I see coaches are saying, hey, I have clients that aren't committed. They're not showing up to my sessions. They aren't respecting me as a coach. How can I cut ties with these types of clients? And what I wanna do here is I wanna show you a simple three-step process that will help you make clear decisions with your clients. And here's the thing, I'm just gonna be as upfront as possible. If you have clients that don't wanna be there, then why are you working with them, right? If they don't wanna be there, if they don't respect you, if they don't value what you're providing, then that takes all the joy away from coaching. And I think the best part about coaching is working with kids and clients that want to be there because you know that they will get the results. And, and those who don't wanna be there, it's babysitting, uh, it's taxing, you always get a headache when you drive out to the field to work with them. And at the end of the day, it's always your decision if you keep those clients and stay miserable or if you cut them, right? And using that word cut them, uh, a lot of coaches, when I've talked about this, they, they take offense to it. They're like, well, how could you ever just drop one of your clients that's paying you? And the reality is, if, if I'm not happy working with a client, then what's the point? Like, what's the point? I, I should be doing something else with my life if, if I'm unhappy working with these clients because it's a business. You, sh you should be happy with the clients that you work with. And if you're not, then you have to make a change. So today is about making that change. And what I wanna do right here is let's go through it. So top left of the screen says every 30 days identify, right? So this means every 30 days what we do is we take our phone, we throw it in the closet, <laughs> and you take out a pen and a notepad. And what we do is we reflect on the last 30 days. And you think about the clients that you're working with. And what I want you to do is I want you to write down the names of the clients that are hard to deal with. And then we write down why are they hard to deal with? What, what did they do this month, All right? And then what I want you to do is I want you to look yourself in the mirror and say, well, did I set high expectations with these clients, yes or no? If I did and they're not following my expectations, then it's on them. If I didn't do that in the first place, then it's on me. If I need to call them again and tell them my expectations, then I need to do it. Don't delay when you're dealing with bad clients. You need to attack it. You need to confront it quickly. Otherwise, the situation gets a thousand times worse, right? That's the first thing. We identify who they are, what are they doing wrong, and then we look at ourselves. Did we set expectations, yes or no? If we did and they're not following through, let's call them, let's figure it out, all right? That leads into the second, which is can we change the situation? Like, I don't just cut clients for fun, <laughs> right? Even though I'm laughing about it, I, I, that's not an enjoyable thing that I do in my business. So I want to first see, can we change the situation? Like, if someone is late, if they're not showing up on time, how can we change it? Well, we can't change it if I don't say anything about it. We can't change it if I just avoid it and hide like a little girl, right? I need to man up, need to uh, confront it and see if I can change it. So that comes down to clearly communicating with that client and reestablishing yourself who's boss, right? They're not boss, they're a client. You are the boss, it's your business, right? So can we change the situation, yes or no? If the answer is yes, then we don't need to cut them, right? If the answer is no, and they, they continue doing the same thing, then we need to do the last thing, all right? So <laughs> I put on here, cut, snap, denied. And that means that they're cut from the program, my relationship is snapped at that point, I can't move forward with them, so they are now denied, and they no longer have access to my program. Now, as uncomfortable as that sounds to cut a client, ultimately it's the best for them and it's the best for you. And here's a rule that I've followed that has really, it's, it's helped me end those types of relationships on a good note, right? Here's what it is. If someone's no longer a good fit, I do these exercises. Every 30 days I identify. If I can't change the situation, they're cut, snapped, denied. But I'm going to, tell the parents that, hey, at this point, our program is not a good fit for you guys. 
But guess what? I've talked to two other coaches already about your child. I think you should check them out. I think they're going to be a great fit to help you guys. And I think that's going to be a much better fit than what we're doing here. And at this point, you, go, you guys are no longer in my program. Do you have any questions? Like, and you can take what I'm saying and reword it however you want. But to have the boldness to do that with clients, that shows strength as a business owner because it's showing that you're not desperate that you need them. And you're not going to just go through the motions every Monday when you see them just because you want their money. It's You want to be happy and fulfilled coach. The way you do that is if you have good clients that respect you, good clients that show up, good clients that do the work, good clients that do the homework, good clients that are paying on time. Like This business is so frustrating when you work with clients that don't do those things. right? And this is why you need to cut, snap, and deny clients in the future if they aren't following your rules. Now, if you're watching this and you have some you, let's say you have some clients that are annoying to deal with. Take what I'm saying and do it, right? Don't, don't just think about it. Think that it's a good idea. Like, go do it. You're going to feel so much better. <laughs> You're going to feel so much better when they are no longer in your ecosystem. I promise you. And I remember the first time I cut a client, I was so afraid. I was thinking, gosh, what are they going to say to me out at this park? Like, what are they, are they going to go write a bad review about me? What are they going to do? I, I was freaking out. I remember it took me like three weeks to do it. And the moment I did it, I was like, wow, this felt so good. Now I don't have to worry about this anymore. This, this thing is not on my plate anymore. I can focus on serving those who do want to be here, not on those who don't want to be here. Right. And the goal is to be able to mop that up every 30 days in your business. When you do that, you surround yourself with clients who want to be there. Again, it's way more enjoyable, it's way more fun, it's way more rewarding, and guess what? On the business side, your business will always make more money when you work with clients who do want to be there. And your, your business will always make less money when you have clients who suck, <laughs> All right? That's it. If you wanna chat, text me at 210-960-5771. That's it for today's video, catch you later.